Alright, so in this video we're going to be using batch files to create shortcuts to really any file uh, that we have on our computer. So all we're going to need for this is a text editor, it can be any one, the default one, or Notepad++, whatever you prefer, and really only one line of uh, command that we're going to to use. So to get started, you're going to first of all want to know where your file is located. Uh, to do that, you can just go to the file that you're going to want to open with the shortcut and right click on it and do properties. And this is going to open up, uh, you know, properties of the file. And you'll see location and it will show you the location of the file. And you'll, you'll just type this in. Uh, I'll show you where in a minute. Uh, so let's... Um, start like I said it's only going to be one line so it's going to be really simple um, so to get started just do percent and then capital S in system and then capital R root and then end the percents okay and now we're going to do a backslash explorer.exe and now this is basically the main command and next we're just going to do the file location like uh, it is shown here um, the only thing with the location, it doesn't show the actual end result, end file that it's in. It's just showing where this file is located. So you're going to have to end, uh, make sure to add in the file at the end there, which I'll show you in a second. So, you know, we're just going to copy out where it was located. Oops. Oops. and this is what we had that it showed where the location was before but instead of opening the desktop we want to open the file that's on the desktop so we have to add that the name of that file in as well so that's pretty much it to open up the file just make sure to put the correct file location in and then have this in front of it now we need to save it as a batch file so we just control s or you can press save manually now just name it whatever you want and save it wherever you want. And you can either do all files and type in .bat after it, or you can just do batch file and it's going to save as a batch. Um, then just press save. And wherever you saved it, go to it and double click on it. And as you can see, it opened the tutorial file on my desktop. So if we want to uh, open this, and we'll create a file. To, to prove that we're opening up the right one uh, with the batch file as you can see it's opening that file that we just created in the tutorial folder so that's a tutorial on how to use batch files to create shortcuts to files or programs uh, it can be altered around to, to whatever file you want to open it doesn't have to be just on the desktop and that, you know, that's pretty much it so use it it's really useful and saves time uh... yeah so that's it thanks